Hey guys, and this is Emergency Gear Reviews. And um, today I'm going to be giving you an overview of my uh, solar setup. Um, so the power here has been out for about 14 hours now due to uh, ice on the lines. We had freezing rain, a lot of it, and uh, the hydro lines snapped off, hydro poles broke. So our area is going to be out, expected to be out for the next 24 hours at least. So um, I've got the solar panels sitting up there. They're 215 watt. And uh, the right there are the 5.5 watts of the panels, giving me a total of about 40, 40 watts up there. Um, today I'm probably raking in about 10, because it's a cloudy day. Maybe a bit less, who knows. But uh, the ice has thawed off a lot on them, so we're doing good. Uh, well, we, we do have a generator running over there, just like about everyone in the neighborhood. But that's just for the fridge and for the uh, for the sub pump so our basement doesn't flood. So yeah, I'll take you inside and show you what this is running. So now these are the solar panels on the roof from this angle. You can see just inside they just come down in through the window there. And there's a disconnect port right there in case I ever want to do any work. That just runs down along the cord. Normally you wouldn't want to run the 12 volt this long, but I did just because the noise of the inverter is kind of annoying. Alright, so I'm going to turn on the light here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So, they come right in along, oops, right along this wire, come right in here. And they come right into the charge controller so I don't blow up my battery. And those go right into these wing nuts right here which charges up the battery. That in turn also goes into this awesome little gadget I picked up which is a percentage indicator for 12 volt batteries in 175, 50, and 25 percent intervals. And this is also attached to a Natalis uh, deep cycle battery. And that's a marine battery, so it's like, it's made for this type of uh, situation. I highly recommend getting this because I thought maybe I could, I would be the exception and I could use a normal battery. But I basically broke it because it's just, it doesn't hold a charge anymore just because I drained it down. Honestly, it's not. You won't notice it for a little while. You can get away for it for like maybe, you know, a year but or like half a year. But in the end, it will ultimately kill your battery. So just to, just to note, deep cycle batteries are more, but they are very worth it. So right here on the side, you've got the uh, connections for the inverter. And that goes right in here. And you've got this gives you lots of information. I'm just gonna unplug this stuff here because right now I'm trying to keep it, it's at 100%, you can see the green light flashing. So I'd rather like to keep it at 100% if I can, but you know, that goes right out into there. And I'm just gonna flip that off really quick. So I'm not consuming any power. So I can turn this inverter on really quick. And you can see I'm at 12.6 volts on the battery. I'm at 120 volt output. And that sh would show me how many watts I'm consuming. So if I'm consuming like 60 watts, it would tell me that. So it's overall a really great system. And like I've already showed you, it comes right along here. Sorry about the shaky camera for a sec. Right into there, and that runs the computer, the light right there. And I have a uh, LED light in there because we are out of power, like I've said. And then that also runs the printer and stuff. And then in here, this is the light I can run in there. It's a 20 watt light. So I usually end up running around 100 watts consumption at night. So yeah, the system's been working really well. Uh, this has been the second night I've been using it. So guys, this has been Emergency Gear Reviews. Just tell me what you thought of this and uh, yeah. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.